Hey guys, I have a unique video for you today. This is probably something you don't really see every day. It is a unboxing of a porcelain tea set that is right around 50 years old. Uh, this was from my mom's dowry and I guess it never got opened. As you can see, it's covered in dust. Uh, that's pretty gross. And it is uh, extremely old and extremely heavy. So it's made in Japan and it comes in 24 pieces, a teapot, sugar pot, creamer, cup, saucer, Cake plate and service plate. So the tape is off and I'm just gonna pull off the cover. Hold up. We have some bubble wrap. Which is super hard to pop. It's mostly, looks like it's, yeah, bubble wrap's good quality. Uh, made in Japan and I guess really dirty or dusty or not sure. Definitely feels like great quality porcelain. Has like a knacker, mother of pearl type design. Honestly, it's pretty beautiful. You can definitely feel it's high quality. Um, shockingly, like, the gold trim, as you guys can see, focus on that, perfectly intact, and the actual, I'm not sure how they do this, or this decal is painted on, I'm not really sure, but it all looks pristine and perfect, and honestly, I think it's kind of beautiful, I think this is the service plate, this would be what you would carry, maybe your creamer and your uh, sugar pot on, and you would bring with your tea set, and this is what a cup looks like, and it's, uh, Pretty beautiful. Everything says made in Japan on it. Uh, just a little bit of, as you can imagine, after 50 years, some dust does tend to pile up. But it's really, it's really a unique design. I actually quite like it. It's not really something you'd see today. It's, it's a lot more ornate than the designs you have nowadays. But it's also really beautiful. And as you can see, like, it's just perfect. Even though, you know, obviously technology wasn't as great back then. But there's no, like, chips. There's no, like, damage. It's in great quality. And it's actually really beautiful. Okay, so this must be the teapot. Oh man, that's heavy. Ugh. So there's some, I guess, protective packaging inside there. And the entire spout of the teapot is just absolutely smothered in gold. It looks really nice. Definitely needs to be cleaned up, of course, but... Oh, I guess it's not all perfect. There are little, little imperfections in that. I don't know if you can see that there. But overall, it's... Just really, really pretty. And what? <laughs> what is that? I guess it was some sort of heating unit? I have no idea. Oh my god, it's a musical teapot. <laughs> I have no idea. That is so cool. Let's wind that up. <laughs> that is amazing. I. Wow. So guys, um, there are 24 pieces in total, 6 cups, 6 saucers, 6 cake plates, 1 service plate, 1 teapot, 1 creamer, and 1 sugar pot. And everything is absolutely gorgeous. Uh, there's a ton of gold on everything, the, the handiwork, the craftsmanship, the feel, everything is absolutely perfect. Like It feels super sturdy. It feels like it's all one piece. It doesn't feel like this handle was attached to this uh, and then the base was attached to this. It all feels like it's one solid piece, and it's just the nicest tea set I've ever seen in my life. So how the musical teapot works is, this is removable. There's two little divots where these parts fit, and you wind it up, and it plays music until you put it down. So it'll be like playing music, and you put it down, and it pushes this mechanism here, and once that's pushed, the music gets paused. So while it's sitting on its base, it won't be playing music. But once you lift it up, you pour tea into a cup, and it'll play music. That's really awesome. Um, yeah, this was way, way, way more amazing than I really expected. I didn't know what to expect when I opened up a 50-year-old tea set, and what I got was beauty and grandeur and perfection, and a little bit of magic and whimsy thrown in there as well. Guys, go out there, look for old things, because old things are really neat. Um, you know, iPhone X's and the latest and greatest is great, but there's a little bit of whimsy and magic to the old days that we can't recreate, and uh, antiques are something we should really treasure.